Do you want to travel to Norway but you are unsure if you should visit Oslo or Bergen? Or maybe both? In this video I'm going to solve all your doubts. Hi everyone! If you don't know me yet, I am Mary Jane. I am an Italian digital nomad and I travel with a very slow pace. I've been to both Bergen and Oslo several times in the past year and that's how I know these two cities. Even if they are both in the same area of Norway, they are pretty different from each other. So today I'm gonna help you to choose which one of the two is the best one for your next trip. They are the two biggest cities of Norway, so probably if you're going to visit Norway for the first time, you're gonna fly to either one of the two airports. The airport of Oslo, though, is way bigger than the Bergen one, so you may find cheaper flights to Oslo and better deals. I remember in Europe, back in the golden times of Ryanair, Oslo was always one of those super cheap destinations where you could get flights for five euros or so. I'm gonna break up this comparison in two big parts. First, I'm going to compare geography and territory. Second, I'm gonna compare the size of the cities and the cultural offer. And in the end, I'm gonna make a quick recap and make my final considerations. Bergen and Oslo are both located in the south of Norway. Norway is a very big and long country, don't get tricked. Oslo is located on the east side of the country, whereas Bergen is located on the west coast. Even if both of them are at the same latitude and both of them are located on a fjord, so on the sea, they have quite different climate. Bergen is famous for being the city of the rain. It rains very often there almost every day. Oslo is way better on the rain side. Even if it's way colder than Bergen, it's I think between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius of difference between the two. In fact, I was surprised to see that Bergen has very mild temperatures. Even in the winter, the temperatures don't really go so much down below zero. Bergen's rain is usually something that scares tourists a lot. But I want to add a personal note. I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but all the times I've been there, and I've been there even for three weeks in the month of September 2018, where they beat the record of the wettest September ever in Norway. Yes, it's true, in Bergen it rains every day. There hasn't been one day where it hasn't rained. But at the same time, I'm used from where I come from in Italy to another kind of rain where if it rains, it rains the entire day. Whereas in Bergen, it rains for five minutes, two hours, not really longer. And then the weather changed. It's sunny, it's a bit cloudy, it's windy, and then it rains again. So the weather is very unstable. You may like it or not. I personally appreciate it very, very much because it was very dynamic. So in two hours, you could have rain and sunshine for five times or even more. You have to be prepared with the clothing for the rain, but at the same time, you wait 20 minutes and the rain goes away. Although Oslo offers great possibilities of hiking and doing activities in the nature right outside of the city, I think that Bergen has way more to offer in terms of natural beauty. The city of Bergen is literally surrounded by mountains. In fact, the Norwegians like to call it the city of the seven mountains. You can climb on top of them and have a view of the entire city, or just go hiking directly from the city center. The locals also have this challenge where they go hike every one of the seven mountains, one after the other. They're not real big mountains, but they're more like very big hills. But still, for being in front of the water, they are pretty impressive. In terms of landscape and sceneries, we must just admit that Bergen offers way more than Oslo. Overall, I think that regarding natural beauty, Bergen beats Oslo. Regarding the city itself, the urban settlement, but even if we go out of the city, like a couple of hours by car or by bus out of the city, Bergen has way more to offer because, think about that, Bergen is on the west coast. It's literally the gateway to all the biggest and most famous Norwegian fjords. And don't get me wrong, Oslo is located on its own fjord and it's very beautiful. Look at these images, for example. You can just take a simple ferry trip and it's gorgeous. But Bergen is right there where all the 
main beauties of Norway are. We're always talking about Southern Norway, of course, because in the north there's much more. Although Bergen is the second city in Norway, Oslo, which is the capital, is three times bigger, which is quite a noticeable difference, especially in a not so populated country like Norway. This reflects on the cultural offer, which is obviously way more abundant in the capital. I'm not saying that Bergen doesn't have its own cultural scene. In fact, it offers quite a number of festivals, concerts, cultural events in general, but Oslo is simply way bigger and it has way more choices. Also in Oslo you will find a very lively party scene. Bergen has its own parties, its own bars, pubs, especially due to the fact that it's a quite important university city so all the students come there, but if you're looking specifically for a good nightlife experience then Oslo is definitely the right choice for you. What you've certainly heard about the difference between the two cities is that Oslo has this vibe of a big European city, which Bergen doesn't have, and I couldn't agree more. Even if Oslo doesn't reach 700,000 of inhabitants, it has, I think, 670 or something like that. So we cannot consider it as big as other European capitals, but still it has the vibe, it has the atmosphere of a northern European capital. Whereas Bergen, on the opposite, has a very local atmosphere. Oslo also has two world-class attractions that you cannot find in Bergen. One are the paintings of the famous Norwegian artist Edvard Munch, and now they recently opened the new Munch Museum also. And the other attraction that you cannot find in Bergen is the whole history of Vikings. Talking about history, Bergen has been the very first capital of Norway in the 13th century and after that his historical importance is due to the fact that it has been one of the four contours of the Hanseatic League. And thanks to the Hanseatic League, Bergen has also been one of the main trade centers of Europe during the past centuries and this was thanks especially to the exporting of the stockfish because of the codfish coming from the northern coasts of Norway. Oslo instead has been the capital of Norway for a very long time but it has also been just a mere province of Denmark when Norway was part of the reign of Denmark. It has seen many kings on the throne and you can find traces of Vikings here. In the Museum of History of Oslo, you can find an entire section dedicated to the Vikings. In Oslo, you can find also an entire museum dedicated to the boats of the Vikings, and they are the best conserved Viking boats that you can find. You can also visit a Viking village and all these kind of Viking-related attractions that you really cannot find in Bergen. If it's your very first time visiting Norway and you want to get the first contact with the very typical and local Norwegian culture and landscapes, I definitely recommend you to visit Bergen. Bergen has the old wharf of Bruggen on the harbour, has all those nice wooden colourful houses. Has the beautiful view from the hill. In general, it has that very local vibe that Oslo doesn't have. Also, I must say, I'm a big fan of modern architecture, which is what you find very abundant in Oslo, but still, I think that Bergen is just more beautiful than Oslo overall. And my subscribers know that I am not very much attracted by the very touristy places, but in this case, I must admit, Bergen, Bergen is just more beautiful to visit, even if it's maybe more touristy in this sense. So to any regular tourists that don't have any particular issues or any particular interests, I just 
definitely, with no doubts, recommend to visit Bergen over Oslo. I think that there are, though, three conditions under which you would prefer Oslo over Bergen, and they are the following. You are looking to know more about the Vikings. There's just not very much left about them in Bergen, whereas Oslo offers very much about them. Second, you are more interested in the modern history and modern culture of Norway rather than the older one. Then Oslo definitely offers more. Third, you're looking for constant stimuli and you want to party a lot. Then you could find Bergen quite boring, to be honest. If you're one of those people who need to be very dynamic and always have something different to do, then maybe Bergen is not really your choice. If this last one is your case, I just have one recommendation though. Keep in mind that Oslo is very expensive and going out, drinking beer, drinking any alcoholic dream, drink, alcohol in general in Norway is very expensive. So keep in mind that if you're looking to go to party in Oslo, you have to set aside a big budget as I explained and showed in this video here. Where is it? In the cards. I made a very complete Oslo guide for visiting the city on a budget where I explain what are the issues with the cost of visiting Oslo. So if you want to watch it, just go in the cards or in the description down below. Aside of that, I have other content related to Norway. I have another video on how to visit Norway on a budget more in general. I have a bike city tour of Oslo. And if you cannot decide between the two cities, you decide to go for both. I highly, highly recommend you to take the train from Oslo to Bergen or Bergen to Oslo. It's the same. It's a, such a beautiful trip just to sit there for eight hours and look outside of the window if you want to take a look at the best snippets of the trip I made two videos about it selecting and cutting together the best parts of the trip one is only a few minutes long the other one if you want something longer is 30 minutes just with music and landscapes also to be honest the train Oslo Bergen is not even so expensive I think I booked it with three weeks in advance and it was only less than 30 euros so it's highly recommended I have quite a bit of content on Norway specific on how to travel to Norway on a budget because it's such an expensive country guys but it's definitely worth visit so just by being a little bit money smart you can have a fantastic trip without having to go broke just for one only trip here I'm gonna leave the link to the playlist to all the content that I made about Norway or you can find it in the description below. As always, if you have any doubts, any questions, pop them in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and hit the like button if this video was useful. That's all for this time. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.